Irvin, you got to remember now, Irvin um, finishes his sophomore year at Michigan State. They win the national championship, and there's a lot of pressure for him to go back for his junior season. Greg Kelser was graduating. He was a graduating senior, was going to try to go on to the NBA. But a lot of the other players were coming back, and, and there was really a lot of pressure from the community for Irvin to stay. So he took kind of a straw poll around and um, with some help from Julius Irvin and some of the people that helped him and realized, no, I need to go pro. So when he made the announcement, he was expecting it to be quite, you know, quite exciting in the, in the area and a, and a coronation of sorts. Um, but there was one sports writer who said, uh, I think it was Joe Falls, who said, you know, he's not ready. He can't shoot. And by the way, he was right. At that time, he really couldn't shoot. He can't shoot. He, uh, I'm not sure he's going to be able to uh, get away with all those histronics dribbling the ball when he gets in the pros. He's a little too big for a point guard. I think he's too slow. And so talk about motivation. Mm -hmm. And you know what? Those kind of criticisms weren't that far off the mark because as a, as a college player, Irvin really wasn't a good perimeter shooter. He had to turn himself into that. And his ball handling skills weren't the best. That was something he had to work on, but he had all the motivation he needed from all those press reports. And how did the Chicago fans, how were they largely responsible for Johnson becoming a Laker? Well, the poor Chicago fans, um, they, it was a coin flip to determine who was going to get the number one pick. Now, the Lakers had someone else's pick. They were not one of the worst teams, but the Bulls were. They were one of the worst teams in the league. And the way they did it back then, uh, now they do it differently. Of course, they have a lottery, was a coin flip. And they had a little coin flip over a squawk box in the NBA offices. And it was a question of heads or tails. And uh, the Chicago Bulls, ever the promotional people, decide to let their fans pick whether it should be heads or tails. So the fans, I forget, I think they picked heads. If they picked heads, it was tails. Either way, the Chicago fans picked the wrong thing. And so the coin flip and the number one pick went to the Los Angeles Lakers. Can you imagine? <laughs> but Michael Jordan never would have played for the Chicago Bulls. If they had an Irvin Magic Johnson, Michael Jordan never would have played there. So they did okay, the Chicago Bulls, in the end. Yeah. This excerpt is brought to you by the Massachusetts School of Law the leader of reform in legal education and the leader in multimedia education for the public. To view the full interview and for a full listing of MSL's programs, log on to mslaw.edu.